almost every new rapper in the game buy some ice with their first serious check. But if you want to stand out and stunt on everyone, you gotta throw down some serious racks. Today, we're breaking down the wildest and most expensive jewelry owned by rappers. In 2021, Lil Uzi Vert made headlines when he revealed his new drip, a pink diamond worth $24 million that he implanted straight on his forehead. He says that he saved up his racks for years to afford it, and he put it on his forehead because he was afraid of losing it. Not long after he got it put in, Uzi tweeted a picture of his head bleeding around the diamond and said, if I don't get it took out the right way, I could die. No, seriously. When he went on the Scuff podcast in December 2021, Uzi said, it was pretty heavy. It was like ripping my forehead and I had to let it reheal. He ended up getting it taken out of his head, but when Rolling Loud came around, he decided to put it back in and flex on everyone. This turned out to be a bad move. When Uzi dived into the crowd, some fans started trying to rip the diamond out, and it sounds like they almost got it. Uzi told TMZ, I had a show at Rolling Loud, and I jumped into the crowd, and they kind of ripped it out. Everyone knew that putting a 24 million diamond on his forehead was going to end badly, and Uzi says his insurance company tried to stop him. On the Scuff podcast, he said, I had to really get my shit together. My insurance tried to cut me off. They were like, this kid's trying to kill himself. Luckily, Uzi got it taken out again and is keeping it safe. Getting your chain snatched at a show is bad, but getting $24 million ripped off your dome is way worse. Drake is already at the top of the rap game, and now he's trying to take over the watch game too. Last year, he treated himself on his birthday by picking up a one-of-a-kind Richard Mill worth $5.5 million. A lot of rappers just go for watches covered in diamonds, but Drake's new piece doesn't have a single stone on it. Instead, it's rocking a sapphire crystal case that shows off the inside. Dropping over $5 million on the watch is wild, but it could actually end up making Drake even more money. When the piece was made in 2019, it sold for $2.8 million and almost doubled in value by the time Drake got his hands on it. If the price keeps going up like that, Drake could end up with $10 million on his wrist in a couple of years. Besides the crazy Richard Mill, Drake has enough watches to open up his own shop. He's flexed custom Rolexes and Audemars, and he even has a custom Patek Philippe designed by Virgil Abloh. Patek doesn't like people customizing their watches, but Drake wasn't going to miss out on the chance to have one of the greatest designers in the world make him a custom piece. Rick Ross loves stunning on everyone with his cash. Last year, he hopped on IG and said he owns over 100 cars, but doesn't even have a driver's license. He might not be able to flex his whips on the street, but he can definitely rock his new $2 million Jacob & Co watch. The wild new piece is made out of 18K white gold and is covered with 700 emerald cut baguette diamonds. It's called the Billionaire Ashoka model and it definitely lives up to the name. Fans expect a dude like Ross to be balling out, but last year, he revealed that he cuts his own grass and flies commercial to save money. A dude who rocks $2 million watches and owns over 100 cars can definitely afford to get his lawn taken care of. But Ross told Entertainment Tonight, I went down to John Deere and asked to see the biggest tractor. I told them I had 200 plus acres that I wanted to keep cut, and they pointed me to the right tractor. Now mowing the yard is one of his favorite ways to relax. He said, it's a whole other level of peace, a whole other level of connecting with the estate and the animals and the birds and the wildlife. Hopefully he takes off the watch before cutting the grass. Rick Ross balled out on his Jacob & Co billionaire piece, but back in January, his homie DJ Khaled stunned it even harder. Khaled picked up a Billionaire 3 watch from the same company, but it cost a million more than Ross's. The Billionaire 3 is rocking over 500 diamonds on the band, plus 209 more on the case, and the inside is just as crazy. This piece has a skeletonized turbulent movement and an invisible setting, so you can't even see the supporting metal inside. Khaled has always been into watches. Back when his son Asad was just one year old, Khaled had him rocking an iced out Rolex worth $34,000. Asad couldn't even tell time yet but everyone else could tell how rich his dad is. Jay-Z and Beyonce are two of the richest artists in the world, and they love flexing their cash. Back in 2012, they hadn't reached billionaire status yet, but Beyonce still threw down $5 million on Jay's 43rd birthday present. She bought him a custom Hublot Big Bang watch to celebrate. Hublots are never easy on the pockets, but this piece is next level. It's covered in 1,282 VVS diamonds and was the most expensive watch on display at Basel World in 2012. Basel World is all about flexing luxury watches, and having the most expensive piece on the show is a crazy flex. In 2018, Jay reminded everyone how hard he can stunt when he picked up a Richard Mill worth around $2.5 million. According to GQ, it took over 3,000 hours of work to create the watch. But last year, Jay managed to top that. 
when Jay showed up at a party hosted by the owner of the Philadelphia 76ers, he stole the show with a new Richard Mill that allegedly set him back over $3 million. Back in the day, T-Pain was one of the biggest rappers in the game. He decided to celebrate all the hits with a massive chain that literally just said, big ass chain. The crazy piece cost him over 400K, and later he told fans that he only got it as a dare. People on Twitter started roasting him over it when he posted a picture of the chain. So he clapped back at the haters and said, let's celebrate the fact that black men can have things like this and still care for three kids and a wife in a $6 million house with 32 cars. Don't judge me from what I buy, judge me from what I do. This time, the haters turned out to be right though. In 2019, T-Pain went on The Breakfast Club and revealed that he had blown $40 million and went so broke that he had to borrow money for fast food. He got his money back up, but he never bought another big ass chain. When it comes to rocking jewelry in the rap game, it's almost impossible to flex harder than Gucci Mane. He told GQ that he started rocking chains when he was six or seven years old because his dad was a hustler who tricked people out of money and jewelry. When he talked to GQ, Gucci was rocking a baguette Audemars worth over a mil and another mil in bracelets and rings. He's known for flexing an iced out ice cream cone chain to match his face tat. And he told GQ, I want it to be different. I want it to be unique. And I went to like the most extreme measures to do it. Back in 2020, Gucci's wife, Keisha Kayor, dropped $2.5 million to cop the biggest Cuban link in the world for him. It also came with a massive pendant that says Ice Daddy, which was named after their son, Ice Davis. Gucci's also rocking a pair of diamond earrings that are so expensive, he doesn't even want to talk about it. He said, I don't even want to speak on them. They set me back so much, I don't even want to tell you how much they cost because you wouldn't believe me. And I don't think it's a good thing to tell people how dumb I just went. If Gucci's open about flexing the mill on a watch, his earrings must have been absolutely crazy. But when you got a track called So Icy and a son named Ice, you gotta live up to that lifestyle. Sean Kingston blew up back in the 2000s off the track Beautiful Girls. It was pretty much his only hit, but he celebrated by spending half a mil on a wild iced out box of crayons chain. Dropping 500k on a box of crayons is crazy, and he only had it for around a year before it got stolen. Kingston told his sister to ship the piece through FedEx from LA to NYC, and that's where everything went wrong. Somebody stole the piece out of the mail, and then Kingston found out his sister only insured it for $500. And that's not the only bad experience Kingston has had with jewelry. Back in 2016, he was at a club in LA when two dudes ran up on him. TMZ reported that the dudes started punching him, then they ran off with his $300,000 chain. A year before he got his chain snatched, Kingston was allegedly kidnapped by a jeweler in LA. According to him, he paid Aviani Jewelers $185K for a watch. The watch was priced at $225K, but he didn't pay the full price because he didn't think it was worth it. After he told him he wasn't paying the rest, Kingston says he met some dudes from the company at a parking lot in the middle of the night to swap his watch out for another one worth 185k. When he got in their car, they allegedly snatched the watch from him, then locked the doors and drove him to the middle of nowhere before they kicked him out. There's no evidence any of that actually happened, but Kingston should probably just stay out of the jewelry game for good. 